Hello, and welcome back to Zeka Plays, the dang Wizard of Legend. Last time, we did that sweet electricity, and it went it went fine. Um, this one, I think, we'll do a wind, a wind one. Yeah, we'll do a wind one. Oh my gosh, all these are cool. Okay, anyway, um, so we'll do a uh, wind one. Now, I think I got like a utility one that impacts wind somehow, I think. I'm pretty sure this is true. I don't want the sprite that slows. Gain gold, summon duration. Maybe we'll do a summon wind one? Hmm, don't super feel like that. Water Arcana one. Okay, so that's the Water Arcana. Where is the... I know there's a Wind Arc... One where, like, if you have a bunch of Wind Arcana, it does a thing. This is the Earth Arcana one. Maybe I never got the Wind Arcana one. In which case, we'll still do a Wind thing, but it'll be different. This is the fire. This is lightning, ah, I see. We have lightning, no wind though. Yeah, we'll just do a wind one. We'll get the pinwheel. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We got some cool new wind spells, so. For this one, we'll use perforating jet because it goes shoo, shoo, shoo. And I like that a lot. For the dash, well, we just got a new dash. Air burst. Wait, that's the same old dash we've always. Oh, we couldn't afford the new dash. Never mind. All right, so we've got spiraling typhoon, fading petal. That sounds super cool. Dragon blast. Summon a dragon form to win to draw enemies before blasting them away. Yep, we'll just take that for sure. Sounds super awesome. Wind flurry, storm draft, cyclone boomerang, blurring falconry, and gust volley. So we'll, we'll try. This is the one where it sucks people in. That's very good. I, let's see what this this looks like. Oh, that looks pretty cool. The dragon's definitely awesome. So that's that's a easy for sure. Hmm. Protective Vortex. Oh, that's pretty cool, but it's pretty melee. What does this one do? Oh, that one is two melee for me. Hashtag two melee for me. Wind Flurry, I think, is one of those ones with like 100 charges. I don't like those charge ones. Okay, Storm Draft. I think just shoots a cone. Yeah, it do. It do be shooting a cone, though. The Falcon is another charge one, but at least it's just birds, and I think the birds like knock people around for a while. Cyclone Boomerang. Oh, there you go. Okay, that there you, that, that's an easy. That's an easy choice. We'll do Cyclone Boomerang, and we'll head down. All right, so Thunder Twins second. You know, it always feels bad when the Thunder Twins are even in the boss fights because I'm so bad at them, but um, that's okay. Okay, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. I'm really liking the wind jet so far. It's a very... It seems like it's got that sweet range to it, so that's good. Hey, what's this signature do? Sends out many? Oh, uh, well. Count me in for that. Oh, boy. I think so, pal. Send out many. Go. Nice. Okay. Okay. I think this build is alright. It would definitely do... Uh, it would get some help from getting more Wind Arcana. But right now, I'm liking it. I like the basic attack a lot. And I like this dragon. The dragon's super cool. Uh, I don't think so, pal. We'll dragon these guys, and then we'll uh, Wind Cycle them or whatever. Oh, and then I got the alt. The alt is great, because it's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like the uh, Frost... 
uh, scimitar, but it's uh, but it seems like more fun. Okay, what does this enhanced version do? Increases the blast area, and this is the one that it punches forward and you suck people in. We're just gonna get this enhanced one right away because like already that seems amazing. Let's see. Oh boy, it's two dragons. We got double dragon now. How can you be sad about double dragon? That's awesome. Should have taken a shortcut. Feels bad, man. Okay. All right, clear those out of the way and then we're gonna double dragon all these fools. Oh yeah, we got our signature right away. This double dragon does like a thousand damage. Alrighty. Not sad about this so far. Many rogues, many rouges. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna come down here and then many cyclones this room and it uh, they're all dead. So that was super effective, feels good. Hoping not to have to buy the health potion so that we can buy the... Uh... Okay, so here is a double dragon into cyclone into many stabity stabs. It's almost, honestly, almost enough. Ah, right, we did it, nice, feels good. And we get a enhanced water arcana. I guess we should just take that because it's like, uh, we'll head back to the entrance. It's kind of like, it doesn't reduce our damage to take it, even though we we aren't likely to like really want, well, that's Fizz's alt from League of Legends, straight up. It's literally exactly Fizz's alt from, from the game League of Legends. Go look that up. If you haven't seen that, go look that up. You'll be like, wow, you're right. That was Fizz's alt from League of Legends. Can't be sad about that. Maybe I should do a Fizz build. I wonder if you could do a Fizz build. Oh boy. And actually, if we, if we, if we Dragon Skull move into, into, uh, space bar, double dragon. That's a lot of damage. Because what what it what it do is that it's oh get out of there get out of there. It it, it launches them back after the first hit. So all right, double dragon here. Make quick work of this dude. Nice. The Double Dragon's pretty awful on bosses, it turns out. That's fine. What, what are these slippers? Using a dash arcana, immediately after another arcana, lowers cooldowns for all arcana of the same element as your da- uh, hello? I don't know if you knew this. I'd be dashing all the time. Almost constantly. Often to my detriment. Now I'm gonna be dashing, and it's gonna be okay. Reduces cooldowns, but also reduces signature charge rate. Reduces cooldowns, but we already have such low cooldowns. All these are kind of bad. Gain a shield every time you don't use your signature. I, I, I risk my life to spam a signature though, so I'm gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go to the next floor with lots of gold. That's the plan. I'll double check the uh, Arcana, make sure there's nothing else we want. Like we could, we could totally get that, but I don't, I don't wanna bait myself into getting that and then it'd be bad. Less than 200 damage on the first floor, is it bad? We like to get that down even lower, but for right now under 200 is a victory for me, so. All right. Where's the room we can double dragon? Here we go. I pushed it out of the, the, the fizz alt, but that's okay. Whoa. All right. Already I've taken too much damage for sure. But uh, it is what it is. We have a lot of money so we can buy the health potion if you really need to. And 
And we've got signature. Boom, 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 boom. That, that dragon move is awesome. No. Oh, I knew. I saw it. I saw it coming, but it was too late. I was already taking the damage like a, like a dumbass. So it's, you know, it's like cool that I saw it coming, but it, it meant nothing. Now, what I should do one of these runs is just like all of my favorite abilities and just see how good it is. Okay, rainbow thing. Uh, what does this say? Increases elemental resistance to a limit when taking damage from an attack of the same element. I don't know what that means. Uh, scissors of vitality. Sacrifice all standard arcana in your hand to revive from defeat. That sounds pretty good. That sounds too good to pass up, honestly. Now the focus is going to be on enhancing our Arcana. Pretty badly, actually. Now, hopefully I just don't lose for quite a while. That would be the best, obviously. Um, nope, get out of here. Shark, double dragon. See, look at that. Look at that. That's a good combo. You know? All right. Let's go to the... Uh, the west first here. Oh, it's just a dead end. Nice. Okay. I guess we're hoping for... Isn't there a cursed relic that like upgrades all your arcana, but something bad happens? I would take that one right now. My, my hope is that if you do not have any basic arcana, then essentially that other... That relic that revives you and sacrifices all your basic arcana, you, you just come ahead, like come out ahead, right? Like that's the, that's the idea anyway. We'll have to see though. Okay, so we gotta go to the entrance portal and then to the east. See you later, you got, you got chopped. Nice. Feels good, man. Chomping people. All day. Every day. With 240 money. Oh. We're, we're going to be able to buy that one after we kill the boss for sure. This is a good day so far. Well, we can grab him with Double Dragon. I really did not expect that to be possible. That was pretty cool. What does this do? That's a Curse Relic that I don't know what it does. Now the right call is to not take it. Or we could take it and see what it does. Let's do that one. Oh, it gave me a bunch of them. What does this do? Replaces all non-cursed relics in your inventory with a random cursed relic. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> I fucked my run. That was the worst, dude. I swapped my relic for one that enhances all of your unenhanced arcana and re decreases your your enhanced arcana right after I enhanced all of my arcana. And then I lost the relic that I was doing that for. Okay, never that one again. I mean, I mean, now we know what it... You know, this is a good way to learn. I know what that does for Sherzies now, so... Alright, so one, this is two. Here comes three, slow moving balls. We, we, you know, we've done this fight before. Oh my god. Truly. Truly the game had it out, out for us for, for that one. That, that seems kind of unfair. Oh, no, this is the alt. I don't know how to dodge this one, man. Oh, I almost dodged it, though. One, two, three. I mean, at least we can signature a lot. Like, that's the only redeeming part of this build right now. 
Yeah, this is also... Word of Lightning, does it increase air? Nope, earth damage. All right, well, I mean, listen. It is what it is. Sometimes you fuck up, you pick a relic that absolutely and hilariously ruins your entire build. So what did we lose? We lost extra air damage. We're, got, we, we're mono air right now. We lost the thing that revives us upon defeat, but sacrifices all of our unenhanced arcana. Well, guess what? All of our arcana is enhanced. Okay, so, so why is that bad though? That sounds like a good thing, right? All enhanced arcana, wow, what a day. Well, guess what? We got a relic that says your, your unenhanced arcana do more and your enhanced arcana do less. That's like, that's like supremely unlucky though. That feels pretty bad. I'm not saying it's the game's fault if we lose, but it's definitely not mine, so. You know what, just take everything. Just take all of the cursed relics. Increases damage cooldowns for each enemy defeated. Nice. It don't matter, it, it nothing matters anymore. You know, it, it's like, the idea is now that we, it, it doesn't matter. This run is so permanently scuffed that the only thing I care about is, is memeing. So we'll just we'll take all the memeiest things the whole time, you know. All right, cool. Okay, what do we got here? What, what are we at now? Okay, so we got 2.75% increased damage, 1% increased cooldown. Increased cooldown, by the way, it means like your it takes longer to get your cooldowns back. So what this relic does is it like it makes your attacks very strong, but you can use them less often. But the basic Arcana has no cooldown, so like it is. It's going to be the bread and butter after a certain point because we will have we will have reduced all of our cooldowns so much that that's the only thing that we can use to deal damage. And it'll be like 10 minutes for each of our normal spells to come up. Oh no, we didn't kill one yet. Oh, we ran into it like a, like a fucking legend. A wizard of legend, in fact. Oh god. Can I just skip this room? I would love to just, instead of having to do this... Oh wait, I can suck this guy off. Oh no, what? He dodged, he juked, dude. He knew it was coming, and he juked. Get out of there. Get out of there. Knock him all into the pits. All right, this is gonna be this is gonna be enemies for sure. Yep. And we'll just uh, well again we'll exist in our freaking mono element, mono enhanced, mono bad build here, and uh, we'll we'll see what we can do with it. The meme potential is high. Yes, we will absolutely do this. Make me shine. Oh, I like that the shark head freezes people, at least. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what we could do, what we could do is buy unenhanced arcana and switch our build over. Or we could not. So I'm gonna do, or we could not, and see how that goes. All right, this is the map, yep. Memorizes the last three attacks taken. Oh, that's cool. You can already be in trouble, we'll activate it. that's cool. Increases ferocity of your burn. That's actually super cool. That's actually super cool. If we if we were like a burn build, that would be delightful. Now we're not at all a burn build. We're a garbage build, which is different. There's gonna be enemies in there. I don't want to go down there and and with the enemies. So did I already kill the boss? Did I get all the portals and kill the boss? Do you think? 
Yes. Okay. Going to the green portal. We're gonna buy health, and uh, we'll go to the next floor. Still less than 200 damage though. Feels pretty good. All right. Let's see what. Uh, we're at nine percent increased damage, and. I guess I, I, the idea, I suppose, is that it's it, the increase in damage is higher than the de decrease in cooldown. So you do you scale up. It's upward upward mobility. Okay, where where are we going? Nice. Alrighty. Go away, man. I want you, man. Go away, man. Get out of here. I'm gonna go up into this room and press Q. Oh, it's the boss. Spawn, 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 spawn. Let's go. Pressing Q. Nice. Now, taking damage resets our signature charge to zero, which is really bad, uh, especially if we take lots of damage. So, the idea is to take no damage. I mean, that's the idea every time, but or it should be at least. Oh, we got Augur. Oh, perfect. Resist Earth-based attacks. We haven't fought an Earth enemy yet, and there's no Earth biome in this room. This, this particular run is like the... It's basically just like everything you get is a, is perfectly wrong. Astounding. What does this one do? Defeating lo foes lowers active cool now. Now that's great actually because what that means is that when we're in big rooms and we've got huge cooldowns because we've been killing people. Look at this. They're already they're already up seven percent, right? Okay, we don't want any of those arcana. Oh, maybe... No, we have no gold. What am I saying? We can't get any of this arcana. That's what I should have said. Um, oh, we get more cursed relics. Absolutely. Uh, all projectile arcana deal increased damage. Well, we've only got projectile arcana, so that could be pretty good. Damage increase, but max health is reduced. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Okay, so we'll get uh, projectile arcana because there's basically no downside. Okay, yeah, we've seen everything we can on this floor. The only thing we can do is shot from our gold. I don't want to take damage to do that, so we're going down. Now, as I was saying, with the with the exception of bosses, what that one arcana is going to let us do is some really cool stuff. Because if we're in a room with like a lot of enemies, then our cooldowns will come up really quick. Okay, so this is one. This is two. Captain America. This is three. Oh, get down. He's gonna do the toaster, I feel it. Oh no, he, he did lines instead. Oh, get out. Oh, he's doing lines again. Dang it. Oh, the, oh, dang it. I would love to use my signature, but I'm not gonna get the chance to. Yeah, okay. But here we go, here we go. We've got, uh, it's time now. He's a toaster. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here, bud. Pentagram. He's gonna do Captain America. Then he's gonna do the signature for sure. Called it. I don't know why I'm pretending like I'm proud that I called it. Like, it obviously does the signature. Right, what are we doing here? Oh, swirly whirls. And then pentagram. Okay, toaster move. Oh, we got the good dodges. We got the good good toaster dodges. Nice. Captain America. Get out of here, scrubs. You're dead. Alright, now I took a I took approximately 10,000 damage on this fight. What does this do? Searing Crown. 
Blast away enemies around you with a burning halo of flames. That sounds better than this stupid little uh, statue thing that we summoned. So we're going to Halo of Flames. Okay, third biome. What's in the third biome? Wind Guy. Wind Guy is tough. Because if he hits you with one attack, he hits you with every freaking attack. And uh, in order to not get hit with the attack, you must be good at dodging. And if... If you've watched me play any Wizards of Legend, you probably can see what the problem with that is. Get away, man! Get away, man! That's right, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah, drawing the explosive barrel in. That's a new level of stupid. Okay, we got we got big alts from he for here. Down here, we're gonna hit him up with a little double dragon action. Now remember, you might think to yourself, Zek and your cooldowns should be so long. Why are they not so long? What's up with that? Well, because every time I defeat a foe, it lowers my cooldowns. We got the synergies. You wanna fight me, bro? I got wind for days, my friend. This, this ability is, I don't understand that ability. It seems like melee though. Uh, and so that I hate it. Okay, so we'll we'll chuck this, get a quick quick amount of damage. Hit him up with one of these. Hit him up with another one of these. Hit him up with one of these. Oh shit, he's good jump. Oh. Not today, Crush Colossus! Not today, fool! Nice. Got him. What does this do? Who cares? We're picking everything up. Oh, perfect. Increases the potency of your poison effects. Just let me check how many poison effects I have. Oh, it's zero. Nice. Dude. That's going to be very powerful relic in our arsenal. Because it does nothing at all. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. We're gonna go ahead and no thanks all of those. That's gonna be a big no thanks for me, dog. All right. Gotta find her shot. Oh god! Oh god! The damage. Gotta find her shot extra extra now. I, originally, I was like, gotta find the shot because we need health potion, and then I took a lot of damage, and now we really need to find the shot. But I was already looking for the shop, so all good. All right, let's see where we're going here. Yeah, this is a... Get out of here! Yeah! That was glorious! Truly, that was our most legendary moment in this entire, in this entire video. All right, what do we got here? Oh, just the health potion. No other money, eh? Oh, well, that sucks. Yes, we'll have to take the health potion. We want a shortcut to the entrance here. I'm not even gonna look at those relics and be tempted by them, unless we somehow get a get a big load of dollar dues. See you later, nerds. Our damage is scaling. Like it's definitely scaling. We are going. We're going up, damage-wise. You know. And that's good. That's powerful. You love to see. Oh god. Okay, so you love to see that because uh, when your damage goes up, then you do more damage, and then stuff dies more. And that's really in Wizard of Legend. That's a really. It's kind of like most of the game is dealing damage. So here's our Arcana. We don't want anything. We have the perfect build, all enhanced arcana, which reduces our damage. Uh, yeah, we really got the perfect build. Okay, I will check the. Sh you know what? I'll check the shot because we've got, we've got some muns. Nope, don't want that. Nope, don't want that. We can't buy any of these really. Uh, all elemental status effects have a chance to cause a burst that spreads No thanks. Secret wild card. Secret arcana takes larger charge. We can use twice in a single turn. No thanks. All right. We outies. 
Still, 132 damage on a floor in the third biome. Ain't the worst. Okay. Alrighty. So what's the plan here? I think honestly we just want to not die as much as humanly possible. Because we don't have the relic that brings us back to life. Cause I gave it up for a bunch of other shit relics that I that are bad. Whoa! That was uh Oh god! I saw I saw the tar tar targeting reticules or whatever you want to call them, and I was like I had, I was already pressing Q basically, and it's just like, okay, well, we're taking damage then. Just another room where we're taking some damage, no big deal. The whole plan is to not die. What are you gonna do? Take lots of damage, I suppose. I can't think of a better thing to do. Can you? Ah, dang it. Nope. Oh, dodge, we dodged, we dodged. Big dodge. Get out of here, get out of here. All right. No, we have perfect Arcana, like I said. We, I, I can't see us getting better Arcana. Maybe I want to not have this Fire Arcana that sucks, but uh, for right now, instead, I will. Reduces damage received to a maximum of 10% of max health. That could be good. Uh, defeat enemies by pushing them into a pit. Now, that would have been good many moons ago, for sure. Um, we're going to save the heal until right before the boss. So, like, I'll... I'll Port back to the green portal right before our boss. Slurp up that healing potion, and then we'll uh, we'll be on our way. All right, big enemies here. The issue really is that this this fire attack does nothing. It does does nothing to help us. So maybe I should replace it. Maybe when I say my arcana is perfect, what I mean is it's. We have one Arcana that's almost literally useless. And perhaps that should be remedied at some point. Probably. We'll see. Got a lot of gold anyway. Oh, nice, dude. That, that was a good room. That room didn't even suck. Here we go, here we go. What are we gonna do? Blast these fools off! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! See you next time, man. Okay, so we're gonna do like exactly what I said. Go to the green shop. Grab this bad boy. Go back into this green shop. Go over here. We're gonna get a better... Honestly, but all of these... All of these kind of suck, <laughs> is the unfortunate truth. I think I would like to try to see if we can find Red Portal first, just in case it's a really good Cursed Relic, or uh, it's uh, the guy who you can sell artifacts to. That would be awesome. I would sell the one that makes... Wait, can you sell Cursed Relics? Probably not, eh? Okay, what is this one? Okay, receive double damage, no thanks. Damage size are increased. Movement speed is reduced. Tiny Crocodile Heart would have been good a thousand years ago. Deal double damage, but receive double damage. Oh, that is... That is way more tempting than it should be. You know what? You only live once, right? What other relics do we have here? We're gonna save. We're gonna save money right here. Here's what we're gonna do. Throw our beautiful shark. Press space bar. Press Q. Press R. Get knocked into the wall. Die. 
Joke, I didn't actually die, but I felt like I died. I died on the inside a little bit, I guess. There's too many archers, man! Too many archers, okay? Too, there shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to have this many dang archers. Okay. Whew. What does this one do? Token of wealth? Plies Doki the banker to appear. No, I don't want that. Drop that. That's garbage. Can I drop Chris Relics? No, you cannot. Okay. Okay. I think this is the boss. Yep. So, dodge, then dodge, then dodge, then dodge. Then dodge. Five dodges, then you can do damage. Wind Sovereign Shoe. Alright, alright. So. Here we go, here we go. Dodge that. Dodge this. Okay, dodge this. Dodge this. This is the last dodge. Now we can actually do some damage for a second. Oh yeah, now get out, get out. Oh god, get out. Oh, we're doing damage now, we're doing damage now. No! Ah! It happens. It happens. Alrighty. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you next time.